So, you guys are kind enough to bring us a little treat today. You've got some, oh, yeah. uh, some early footage of Deus Ex when it was called Deus Ex 3, I believe, right? Yeah, that was a production name sort of thing. Yeah, okay. So, so how has the game kind of evolved from then? This is like three, four years ago to what we see coming out next week. Hi, uh, well, it's been a bit uh, more than four years. I think it's four and a half years mm. in development. I wasn't in our team at the time, but um, we started, that well, the guys, uh, JF and John, and uh, Mary started uh, really, really early, four years ago, more or less. Mm. And during a really large macro uh, concept of what they wanted to do, following uh, in the footsteps of a Deus Ex 1, uh, the original game. And mostly the game pillars, and they sort of went for the, the whole idea of combat, stealth, and hacking, and social. And they sort of built an idea around that stuff, especially for the art, art direction with John. Uh, and um, the basic, more primary mechanics for the gameplay as well. Okay. That's how it sort of started. Uh, the, just those guys in a room, lucked away with pizza. Okay, so we got a couple clips to look at. One is the early tech demo, yeah. and then it goes to like the, like the prototype. So where did what's what's in the tech demo? The character looks a lot different. It's kind of right. bulky. Well, the tech demo first. The tech demo was like four years old, uh, three and a half, four years old. But uh, ideally, the tech demo is no limits. It's just once you get all the concepts, the basic idea of maybe a story, the basic idea for art direction, basic idea for animations, all the directions, the gameplay, the mechanics. The idea is to just throw everything at the engine. Hmm. It, there's no really limits on the memory. We're not trying to run it within limitations of a DVD or a Blu-ray or whatnot. But the main idea was to get the first ideas in and actually show it to people and see the reaction. So the tech demo is all about what can be done at that moment, which is four years ago, which has nothing to do with today, what is going to be released in two weeks. Um, but basically, the, the main ideas are the gameplay mechanics, like jumping, the first iterations of cover systems. Mm -hmm. uh, like you mentioned, that the character is the first draw of a character. At the time, John wanted something a little bit more... Um, cartoony would not be the right word, but more... Um, Characterized with more, Bulky. yeah, sort of large and big Terminator hands. Terminator style. Sort of all this, all the idea of augmentations and the, the robot aspect of it. So, a little bit of that too. So, I was really struggling with the uh, the idea of do we want to see the augmentations or not? You mm. know, like the metallic arm. Do you want them to be like a metal, your skin or mm. plastic looking? All these things. So, the first character, actually, the first character that was designed on paper and in in the tech demo was a cop, it's just a regular cop. It wasn't meant to be, because we use it, we use the model and the skin and everything for the main character, but it wasn't meant to be, at the time, uh, Adam Jensen didn't even exist, but mm. it wasn't meant to be the main character. It's just to see how things would work out for the dimensions, the, the length of the, the arms, the legs, and all that stuff, and see if the animators could do something with it. It's all that kind of idea of through the, the first NPCs as well with those big helmets and see how they would respond to the environments. That's before we did all the rules as well because you need to have rules for an, uh, the AI mm -hmm. large, you know, like two meters large by one and where the cover stands and if you can take over cover, behind cover, if you leap over and all these things. Mm -hmm. So Tech Demo was all about showing, featuring those ideas and actually see if it works, if it, everything matches up together, yeah. which it kind of did. Okay, and then the tech demo to the prototype. Uh, prototype is what we call a vertical slice. It depends on a company from, from company mm. and companies, but vertical slices, basically, that's what we call it. Mm. As you take the whole game, at that point, a blueprint for the story and all the elements, the big elements, the beat charts, everything is in. And you just decide to take one slice out of it, which is a vertical slice, basically, and a and blueprint. And you try to do it from beginning to end. It's just full production. We could technically ship it the way it is. Naturally, that's not exactly what happens, but it's, it gives a really, really broad idea for everyone in the company, the investors, everyone to just see what the product could be like. And, and it's the first time we actually, <laughs> we picked the hardest part in the game, probably, because we decided to do a city hub. And you know, it's like, yeah, it's a cool idea, it's a city hub. It's like, okay, what do we put in it? I don't know. Uh, who's gonna be, you know, who's the characters? Where is this in the stories? There's a few, like, three or four main characters, and mm. then what? What do you do in it? So, it, it brings all these questions, but that's about a year, almost a year later than the tech demo. So we had all the, the direction was there. The, most of the mechanics were in development at that time, all the features, the, the gameplay mechanics. 
And uh, in the tech demo video, you see like there's a weapon. That weapon was the first draft of an idea, hmm. but it never really made it into anything. It just it changed into something else. But in the vertical slice, which are a real prototype, uh, we had. I think I had four or five weapons that were pretty locked in. Uh, the art wasn't final, but the mechanics were there. We had an idea. AI was the same, two main characters, uh, broad brush strokes, but really, really consistent for the experience. That's the, I think that's the biggest difference between the two at that point. And that naturally we pushed for, I think we played, you, know, you could play for about three or four hours of gameplay just in the vertical slice, which was a big deal because we were aiming for like half an hour. Mm -hmm. But we, we throw in like an idea of a side quest and most of the augmentations we see in the video, we see like the um, X-ray vision, uh, which uh, this we call the smart vision and uh, the takedown techniques. The first time we'd actually try to do a takedown, a double takedown, throw stuff, pick objects. Uh, those so things. when you look back at these videos now, what's you were saying earlier, you kind of you're ashamed of them at this point. You need to like, I'm what's the most embarrassing part? I think if you just you were to just take the video and show it to people, I'm like, who the hell is that? Yeah, that doesn't really work that well. But um, I think it's the uh, yeah, that w that would be it. I'd, uh, unfinished business feel that you get from the vertical slice mostly. The tech demo doesn't count because it's a tech demo, but for the vertical slice. We had all the elements. That was the biggest thing. Gameplay worked. Yeah. It just wasn't perfected. It was just you play, okay, I get it, I can do this and I can do that, but where does it lead? What do you do with it? And it's all a learning process, actually. Cool. All right, uh, any final thoughts? Things uh, you want to make sure people look at when they look at these and aren't confused by? Uh, well, if you look at a tech demo, uh, uh, first of all, Everything you see in a tech demo, and I'm pretty sure 95 to 98 percent of what you see in the vertical size video are not in the game anymore. Mm -hmm. It's all stuff that has been changed, swapped around. Uh, we learned a lot from them, so that's one thing. Uh, there's a lot of debug also that you see, like in a tech demo. There's like the, the weapon you shoot has actually got like lasers. It's not lasers. It's uh, what we call the. Um, it's basically a ray cast for the engine to mm -hmm. say, okay, this is where the bullet starts and where it ends, and this is where it's going, basically. So we just used that a lot to see if everything worked and how the NPCs reacted to sound and, and see if they saw the bullet impacts and also. That's kind of, it, it was never meant to be a laser rifle or you know anything like that. So that's that kind of thing that to look out for and just look, oh, okay. Um, cool. Yeah, I guess so. All right. Well, thanks for coming by. Thanks for. Uh, You're welcome. Actually, I, I really appreciate you guys showing the game in its early state to the end because a lot of companies are afraid to do that. Really? So. No, I think it's cool. I, when I when I was asked to do this, I was like, oh, I got scared. I was like, oh man, it's like you get choked up as so long ago. It's four years, four years of your life, and oh, that's cool. I yeah. like it. I don't want to hurt you, but I will if you don't give me a choice. Not a chance. This ends now. Did I ask for your opinion? We're leaving!